Hello again, welcome back for another daily Bind Advising for Pettings. Oh boy, it's October 21st, 2024. It is uh, Back of the Future Day. Specifically, man, it's when Martin McFry, uh, McFly, Doc Brown, and Jennifer <laughs> go to the future on October 21st, 2015. Nine years ago. I remember that day. Fairly well, of course. You know, of course. I got Blue Baby, but first let me double check something to see if our storage is fine, which I think it's fine here. Because I don't know how many videos I was recording before yesterday. Okay, none. All right. All right, let's get into this blue the baby, the blue the baby. I'm gonna take a risk here. Could be a calculator risk or a really bad risk. We'll see. Mom's hard, huh? Did some lifting today too. I decided not to do anything yesterday because, like, I had a lot of stuff I did. Prior to that, caught up on some sleep. I was even napping again earlier. Still tired. I had to get myself up. I gotta like finish eating tonight. Get up in the morning. It's it's a cycle, man. Got our heart back too. That's cool. PhD, you know, that is useful. Range up, even if it gives us a range up right now. It'll give us something here to nibble on. A little bit of chaos in my pocket. Chaos pockets. Full of pocket sand. Okay, we got some interesting things going on in here. I, I feel like there's something really good here. I don't have proof. Okay, well, it gave me a key back and a couple pennies. Took my bomb away. I was thinking it might be like flight or something, which would have been just superb. Now, I might be going for angel deals on this character here. As much as like, they fixed it to where it's like, oh, it's only cost you a heart or possibly two hearts for a devil deal instead. I'm going to just play it safe, maybe. After what I did with the last daily, messed that up. <laughs> I didn't have to take the vanishing twin or whatever, but, you know... It's good. It's just I have to dodge better and I didn't Dodge better. That was my problem. I should have like concentrated on one of them first instead of split them off into four chasers All oh, the Duke of flies here A little bit of a pest well, yeah, he's a pass because he's fly. He's part fly. Part human. Well, wow, that's something I guess we got out of that. Hey, you don't need stats. Also, I'm drinking a nice iced Americano. I got an Americano last week from the same place. And I said just Americano. They gave me a hot Americano. And I was like, you know what? Whatever. So I, I specified more today, but like, I can I have an iced Americano? Yes, iced. I don't want your garbage with your hotness with your coffee. How dare you? I know I'm supposed to be specific with these things, but I was assuming you're gonna do the right thing in your mind. Let me speak to your manager. <laughs> Anyways. Um. So I got an ice this time. Years ago, 
when I used to be picky with having sauce on my pizza, I would order Domino's online, I think. Yeah, mostly Domino's online. I, I had, did some with Pizza Hut, but specifically here, Domino's, I uh, ordered something like that. And what happened was, not only they didn't have any sauce for the pizza, they also didn't have any cheese uh, on it either. So it was just bread and toppings. <laughs> you know that meme where it's like somebody had like left beef or whatever on a pizza, no cheese or sauce, and it's just bread. And they <laughs> they kind of just toss a bunch of like meat on the one side of the pizza. Well, that's what mine kind of was. And I didn't call it a complaint or anything. I just, you know, for the hell of it, tried eating it. And yeah, it was dry as shit. And I, I pulled it off. I think I think I pulled it off. You know, dry pizza with meat. <laughs> I mean, it's literally just bread, you know? Dry bread. It's meant to have sauce and cheese on a pizza. I haven't had Domino's, man, since before COVID at some point. How long ago would that have been? Man. 2017? 2018, believe it or not? Yeah. Something like that. So I definitely know I didn't have anything on... Had that in 2019. So it's got to be before 2019 that I had it. Nothing wrong with Domino's. Oh, pussy! Um, okay, I'll... We're, we're, we can go for Devil Bales here. And I think we should, now that we see something like that. Drop on our laps. That's, that's uh, kind of funny, too, here. Oh, no, no, that's Celtic Cross. Okay, no, I got that backwards. See, I thought that was something else. I'm going to take Celtic Cross, though, because that's not going to give me any health or anything. It gives me protection chance when I get hit. So anyways, yeah. So that was like kind of a funny thing that happened. And, and it only happened that one time. A one time. So it was... I remember I used to order... I, I mean, I was picky with sauce on pizza for years, right? Like, even as a teenager. But, like, it wasn't always like that, and then at some point I got picky with it, and then it's like... Then it kept, it kept going on in my adult years until, like... <coughs> like, years ago... Um, a few years ago, I was eating pizza with sauce. In fact, I appreciate sauce on a pizza now. It's weird. It's uh, a very strange thing for di indeed. You prefer sauce on a pizza now? Yeah, absolutely, 100%. Like, I could probably still eat a pizza without sauce, but, like, it's not the same. I appreciate a really good sauce. You know, I, I stopped being picky. Again, amazing! I don't know why I picked up a soul heart right there. Whatever. I'm picking up all these soul hearts for the cat. All right, that's right. And I can't, that's right. I can't do that other thing either. Silly me. All right, let's go back, grab the cat. We are way behind schedule right now. And so, uh, come on, pussy. So anyways, and I used to eat like, well, prior to going gluten-free, I used to order a all kinds of different kinds of pizza that was, you know, whatever, you know, like little Caesars. I, I didn't have so much Papa John's in my life. I probably had Papa John's twice in my days. Two times, just two, two, a week, two. I might not even make it the fucking boss rush, by the way. I'm so slow. We need a miracle. The bibble, huh? Ah, uh, I'm going to take this instead. Okay. That's, I guess, something. 
there's a pizza joint in town that makes like it's not Chicago pizza, but it's like some type of deep dish pizza that they make. And it was so good. It was like layered cheese and sauce, cheese and sauce, cheese and sauce, and it's also layered with like whatever topping you put in between all those different layers too. In those between layers. It's incredible stuff. I better get something like huge for this freaking fight, cause boss room item, devil room item. All right, that's a start. Okay. I think this works for you. No. Edmund, what the hell? Dark Prince's crown doesn't work with this character. When it's impossible for him to have red hearts. What the hell? I hope I patch that, that blunder. So anyways, pizza, pizza. Pizza, a pizza, pizza. Yeah, pizza, pizza is pretty good. Oh, look at that. A free entrance to get flies. That's amazing. Well, we got, well, technically, we got two tiers up from that, right? Spectral tiers, too. So that's, we could shoot up a rocks and whatever. Yeah, it's truly important. We might not make it a boss rush. But I guess that's okay. As long as we finish the run, right? As long as we don't lose the last run. Surely we'd be fine. Okay, we need keys. We need a lot of things, man. Okay, careful. Not dying prematurely from mushrooms. Spiders, especially. Oh, goodness gracious. Don't want me giving up my nine lives over freaking death from getting nothing out of it. Just simply chaos. Oh, pizza, pizza time. Bacon a pizza. At least we know we can uh, not lose a devil deal. We can never lose it. We can miss out on a devil deal, but we can't lose it with this character. That's, that's fantastic. Oh my lordy. I could hit those mushrooms and look for a magic mu magic mush or something, but then I could also like die from that, and that would suck royal ass. Look at this room. Look at this room trying to freaking blow me up. Trying to murder the life out of me. Murder the soul out of me. Oh my goodness gracious. Trying to fight back. The spawns of hell want me to be seduced to death by their antics. <laughs> he was trying to come at me. He saw that. It's like, I'm going to get you, you little son of a gun. And then he got freaking whipped around. All right, let's increase our odds. Oh, you were hiding something. You were hiding something. He was the guardian of hiding stuff. That little son of a gun. Yeah, we're probably not going to make it the boss rush. Unless I have like blank card, emperor card with like massive amount of damage and stuff. Like, it's just, 
It's not gonna happen. Truly not gonna happen. Alright, that's nice. Um, you know, we're gonna take that. A golden... Whatever, I forgot what it's called. I think that increases the odds of dropping bombs per coin picked up. I like that. I am just starved for bombs. It's not like I'm starved for keys or anything. Weather's been warming up again here. Like a chance of showers tonight and through tomorrow. Like light showers and stuff. But again, a lot less rain, a lot more sunny days. I do appreciate sunny days, but if it's causing issues with like drought conditions, which is what's happening again, like, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, Listen, I could take that thing uh, with me or something. I mean, I could get that or whatever. But it's like, I think this card thing's going to be doing me some good, this card generator. I could turn it into po uh, pills, and then it'll be good pills for now on. No matter what I generate. But I think we can just, like, hold off for doing that. I was actually thinking about getting something like that. See if I do find whatever. But I did not want to get it now i changed my mind can i change my mind now your opinion stays true for all time your opinion your choice in the matter stays for eternity oh you prefer chocolate ice cream guess why you're stuck with it for eternity no you can't try ice cream and pretend that like you don't really care for it so much no i guess why it's not how life works. All right. I took the nail because I think the nail contributes to Leviathan transformations. So he says naively, naively, assuming the best and the worst times. Okay. Road card, super. So we're two thirds guppy now, as I sh supposed to have happened. Now be careful because you only have so many keys and you got guppy's tail. <laughs> and guppy's tail reduces the likelihood of finding keys and dropping keys. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily mean that's gonna happen 100%, but it increases the odds. And look, I, I was proved wrong right there, see? <laughs> Get it? Hmm. I still rest my case that it's still gonna come down on me. I want the key generator one right now. Right here and right now, instead of the bomb generator. Bomb generator is okay. Especially with our little synergy here. Holy shit. Speaking of key. Look at this key demon. It just doesn't drop a key. He takes his key with him to hell. That's where it went. I'll tell you what, Bobby. Don't be a key demon. Imagine being locked in a room like this and you're just waiting for somebody to free you by giving you just enough keys to dip out. Only to be blown up by a bomb because, like just how life works it's kind of like that book uh i read the blood meridian it's like you know you, you see all these different western films right over the years these di typical ones it's like oh yeah they're kind of holding they're pretty much wholesome or something haha <laughs> cool you know little house of the prairie it's something like very you know whimsical something like lighthearted, and all that stuff and then it's like, then the Blood Meridian is like, all the true horrors of of uh, the Wild West and all the disease and betrayal and murder and 
scalping and shit. Oh, such great times. Oh, those are the good memories. Only the 1870s kids will know this. You could talk about the boomers, about like, oh yeah, they bought a house and all that. You know, when they were a very young age. Oh yeah, I can't get those cards. And all these different industry stuff, and be like, oh well, I'll show you better. And back in the 1870s, we were skinning people's heads randomly, or sucker punching them with war axes in the back of their heads. Now those are the good times. We were getting away to murder a lot easier back then. We didn't have these, these forensics, science, <laughs> and we also didn't need antibiotics. Yeah, we have like a very low chance of surviving, you know, TB and shit. Those were the good times. Yeah, <laughs> you know, fuck that be. I mean, first off, it's like, who the hell from like 1875 you know, still alive today. I, I don't think there is any. I think the oldest person alive today was born in the 1880s, 1890s or something like that. Like, that's it. Like, there's a cutoff point right now. We're in 2024. Like... <laughs> I mean, I can't, you know, once in a blue moon, I would see, like, something on Twitter or Facebook or wherever. Just random over the years. Might have been YouTube, too. Someone claiming that this X person, which is usually from China or India or somewhere, is like over a hundred, like a, uh, close to 200 or 300 years old, and that they're so old, they don't have a birth certificate because it's so, they're so old. Oh, there's no way to verify it, except for like an account by like the immediate family and possibly the person that is like basically mostly blind and don't know where they're at. Like that wild stuff. Why? I mean, it's publicity, right? It's like, you know, you, you want to get recognized for something, even as, as silly as that is. And I remember prior to COVID, I think it might have been a year before COVID broke out. So 2019, could be 2018. They used to have videos. I. I just came across randomly on YouTube or something, right? Back then, I get recommendations, and it's like um, people claiming to be like from a thousand years uh, in the future, coming back in time to warn them about something that's going to happen. That's like very like oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it's very. Abstract and abstract. What's, what's the word I'm looking for? Damn it! I know I'm popping these and getting hurt. I'm trying to look for magic mushroom shit just to like speed this up. Um, no, it was. Um, I'm blanking on it. They they would go back in time. Oh, they they said they go back in time, warn them about some very. Abstract, I guess is a good word for it. It's very abstract where it's like, it's not very specific. It's just like, whatever, you know, kind of thing. It's not like, oh, COVID-19, you know, something hyper-specific. You know, I was like, oh yeah, it's this. But then it was like, it's a, so there was like a YouTube channel in particular that was interviewing random people that they're from this year. Uh, uh, from this X year, right? And then it was like another one where it's like similar person, like running to people supposedly from the future or something coming back. Or it's not like an exactly a thousand years. It could be like, you know, some random number. But then like each of the people that they showcase to, they would uh, have their faces blurred, which makes sense because they don't want to be identified as being like, Nuts. <laughs> Be like, I know that guy. He's full of shit. <laughs> you know? No, they put like a thing on there. So that, so that way they don't want to be identified. Of course. 
yeah, they probably don't want to get identified because the government would confiscate them like E.T. or something. No, <laughs> nothing like that. <laughs> he knows too much. He just said that this thing's going to happen, but he didn't go really in specific details. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, oh, yeah, this thing's going to happen and this thing's going to happen. Okay. Uh, when specifically and what is it exactly? Uh, uh, I, I can't tell you. If I came back in time just to waste my time and energy to warn you about something that's not specific enough. Oh, okay. Fair enough. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Can you lead us some clues? No. I'm not giving you a fucking clue. What's this, Blue's Clues? I'm supposed to just, like, instruct you what to do? What to look out for? Fuck, no. But yeah, like, and then, like, all that kind of vanished, right? I imagine maybe YouTube took him down at some point for copyright or something weird. I don't know. But it just kind of vanished. This, uh, this channel. Or at least maybe, maybe it's still around and maybe I just lost it myself. I don't know. I never really bookmarked it. Perhaps the future took off with it. <laughs> Perhaps the time travelers destroyed it. I uh, got rid of the channels before, like, the government caught on and confiscated them. Or maybe the government shut down the channels and then that way, like, and it confiscated the, uh, the time travelers. They know too much! <laughs> There's another channel I r ran into to talk about different conspiracy theories kind of thing. I know, there's a lot of convincing ones, but I mean, I'm talking about the really wild stuff where, where it's like, you know, saying something like meth is like good for you. It unlocks your ch ch chakras or whatever, the type of crystal you charge a meth crystal or something like that. Just some weird stuff that, that, that kind of thing I ran into. The iceberg video of that. Saying that meth is good for you and it, and charging the crystals is going to be helpful and it gives you a lot of energy and motivation and stuff and all this other weird stuff. It's just, you know, there's some wild ones. These like from many decades ago, the, these kind of ones and it's like very strange stuff. Of course, the infamous Loch Ness Monster, which is not as crazy as the meth crystal charging. <laughs> At least with the Loch Ness Monster and stuff, people would give you a chance to be heard, you know? When you talk about like, oh yeah, I get to fix my meth to, to keep me motivated and clean up my shit, like they're gonna report you to the cops. <laughs> coming they're gonna come after you the bugs will if the but if the cops don't come after you the bugs in your skin will the meth bugs but yeah wild time though back then with seeing that on youtube it might still be around, you know? Like, I didn't really look hard enough. I don't even know what I would look under for that. Time Traveler from 3019. Or something. That maybe that would work. I just don't know. <laughs> I know it. It's all crazy. Hilarious. Glad I got that item the second time. I don't need shit. Puberty. Need more puberty pills. Tears up. I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh, but your points. Oh, no. My points. 
Oh, whatever should I do? Oh, no. I can't get the boss rush. Oh, no. Everyone's gonna beat me in boss rush. Cause I didn't do hyper specific things to get the first place. The world's gonna end. <laughs> Okay, Pandora's box. Oh. Give me that saucy sauce. Oh, come on now. It's still fun playing the daily, nonetheless. I'm obviously going to be like a thousand, two thousand, whatever place. But it's still fun, you mean it what? More like upgrades. Ah, do I want that? I guess we'll get it. Yeah, no. Well, why would I, like, skip out on that if, like... I just said, like, the points are not going to matter too much at this at this rate. Since I bought a bunch of stuff in the shop and got hit a number of times and missed the boss rush, and now, yeah, I didn't have to All right. Chaos and shoes. Okay, am I not fast enough for this? Thank you. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. All right, we're out of here. We're out. Unless we give you bombs, and then maybe there's a chance you give me a Mama Mega. I wish I had the mod. I wish there was a way to get a mod on for this thing, you know? Now, come on, my little bastard. I know you're kind of a low payout, but not as much as uh, the dead dude. Holy shit, you actually fucking gave it to me. I was not expecting that. All right. Well, now we can actually do boss rush. We probably won't get as many points, though. But, like, we, we've been spending our bombs and money like crazy. That's pretty funny. Because there's so many bomb items in the game you can get a payout of from, from that guy. And it's like, we got that one out of all of them. I just tried it just to see if it's a possibility. Damage, all right, and shot speed. And we'll take it. Well, and then there's no hush either, so it's like. I don't know if spending the money would on items. Like, I know that getting items themselves would uh, reduce your uh, score. But then, if you're spending the money, like, does that take the score away? I know. I mean, probably for the final score. Unless you get, like, the 99 cents again. Maybe you can redeem yourself. I'm Holy shit! It's free! That's fucking huge. See you in hell. Oh, incredible stuff we got going on here. That was a free freaking Mama Mega. Oh, and a small rock to slow us down. 
Oh, look at this. Look at this. How many players we're going to go for on Mama Mega? Oh, shit. How many? Angry Fly, we got to take it. He's part of our persona. Anger. My red ch chakra. It's indeed angry. Anger. Agur. Okay. Of course, we want to get to boss rush before, like, defeating mom kind of deals. We got this freaking opportunity here. Um, I'm going to take this just to get more keys. Just in case here. See, now we're able to, like, mid-max this run right now. Like, do all this exploration and stuff, picking up consumables. Wild things going on here. Exciting times ahead. I know every second that it takes by, you lose money. Not money, score stuff. Come on up, little bastard. Thank you. I'm going to... I know this reduces my points, but, you know. Whatever, you know? It, it, it's cool. It, it's fine, my dudes. It's fine, my dudes. Come back to the money. Look at this. We'll get to, like, 99 cents, too. Were we the greatest time of our lives? I might pop my Omega to the next floor, though. Just to just, just to like, skip through all that stuff and make it quick. I mean, there's a chance to find a Golden Bomb, of course, again, but... Eh. And I can't get... To a lot of this stuff. Oh! Oh, fuck. Why did I do that? That was such a blunder. I'll never recover. This super sure as heck out in the out in the distance man okay get the big room to go on to go on to before we go and do whatever here oh so so still okay Ah, uh, burger tears. I mean, I could take the mushroom and get two-thirds mushy transformation, but... I don't care for God's flesh. That item. And I mean, I might as well... Let's hold on to that. In case, like, maybe there's, like, a... Whatever it's called, that, um thing that gives you more money, 999 coins kind of thing, deep pockets. Let's hold on to that just in case. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Go, go! Okay, I don't think I completed it. Alright. I know it gives me a range, damn, but that's fine. Not much for choice, but that's okay. It's okay, it's okay, alright? Alright, it's okay! We don't have the greatest stats here, but it's okay. Oh. And why was... Why was... The, oh, yeah, it's because he used that effect. That's right. The Curse of Darkness effect or something.
I didn't quite catch what the second item was that was on that pedestal, but like I definitely seen that Cricket's head was like the option. It didn't look like it was like enough to stand out for anything in the second item. And it's you again from the daily. May you burn in eternal fire fires of hell. Revenge. For making me lose my daily. Yeah, you made me lose the daily game. Not me with my mispre uh presses and stuff. Incredible plays here. Spikes make such a difference too here, killing them faster. Oh, big ol', big ol', uh, what his name is. Big ol' boy, that's his name. Big boy! Well, you know, we're only like a, a few weeks until the update patch for this game for like multiplayer and stuff. I just realized that like we're we're coming up to it to the 10th anniversary of Isaac rebirth. That's insane. I'm going to be playing some multiplayer stuff for sure. Hopefully they worked out the kinks with the uh connection issues and stuff I, I mean i'm gonna have to be reminding myself to turn off my vpn every time because that was definitely <laughs> causing a little chaos on my end i don't know about their end but definitely on my end i think Edmund said something that the patch won't work like the multiplayer patch won't work for like playstation or xbox and i think that makes sense since that like that's the server stuff unless like maybe he changed something to where it's like it's gonna be compatible they're not gonna obviously interconnect with the different consoles and stuff pc and all that that'd be kind of cool if it could multiplayer because i didn't have a chance to play the multiplayer beta for or alpha or whatever for grade mode I like I, I was procrastinating was the deal and like by the time I was gonna be like all right I'm gonna do it now and then it's like oh it's gone plus I had to like restore my save file which I thankfully or save files I mean which thankfully I uh, was able to do and I did back up prior to that because that was something that was causing some wonkiness and it did for me Because of how Steam saves their save file stuff. Alright, we used it. Will we a blessing? Oh, these guys are a little spooky. Okay. Well, we did boss rush, and I couldn't believe it, but we did it. It's been done. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you and giving me, like, a room like this, man. To try to, like, get around this. Right, you keep your penny. You know, I can get the 99 bombs between now and then. Maybe. Wishful thinking. Oh, I'll take that damage up. I'll take that damage and luck. I'll take it all. I'll take the lot, sirs and madams. 
Oh, we're getting a lot of keys all of a sudden, too. I'm gonna go in here, because it counts as exploration. I'm taking that, too, because I need every bit of health, stats, whatever. I'm glad I, like, popped this thing, too. It's... It's been helping. Well, two of diamonds, I guess it's not gonna do me a whole lot of good right now. Endless Nameless. It's good. Bomb keeping with the bombs. Little bomb generating item. I'm te definitely taking this with me. For all time sake. What we got? Will of Fortune. Got my bomb back. <laughs> 40 keys, holy cow. Holy moly. Devil card, chariot card, high priestess hermit, all right. The coins are really just giving us like extra bombs here at this point. No, my bomb generator dude. Shout out to him. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have got the boss rush. <clears throat> I mean, I could have gotten the boss rush if I was, like, really wanted to before, like, the timer ran out. I couldn't have daily dallied. How about that? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Let's go fight the boss now. The boss man. The big old boss man. And I had a weird feeling it was gonna be this guy. You don't have to believe me. Please do. Oh, we got Guppy. And I'm gonna just take this for shits and giggles. All right, we're out of here. Ryan out of coffee. I have very little bit now. Look, we get, we're a cat with a little, little, whatever, sucker thing. Binky. That's so adorable, isn't it? Just a little kitty cat with a little binky i am slow as shit I'm trying to dodge this uh, i don't care for that item all right just incredible stuff maybe maybe Oh, fuck off, man. I'm trying to, like, get around this shit. Okay, it's not there either. It's nowhere. Probably spent nearly an hour on this daily. Mid-maxing. As I should be mid-maxing. Not there. Okay, that was... Silly of me be hitting those rocks again. Incredible plays. Maybe? No? Maybe? I know I'm wasting bombs, but like, exploration bonus is key. As much as I won't get first place, more likely here, I'm pretty sure I won't be getting first place. I've. I've bastardized this so much. And definitely not first place for the speedrunner section. Get it under like fucking 10 minutes. That's one thing I didn't ever compete in is the speedrunner portion of it. Never! Never tried. 
That's pure hell for me. Wow, he found a glitch to skip around and beat like, uh, go through multiple levels. Haha. <laughs> Oh, and then there's that thing, by the way, ladies and germs. We finally found the thing that I was trying to look for in the beginning of the game. Incredible stuff. World card. There we go. There we go. Found what we needed. Okay. This mid max is very important to me. Oh, and there's a crawl space here. Oh, that is so nice. I might as well take it. It's five extra bombs, too. It adds up. It all adds up. Okay, let's go finish this run, huh? 47 minutes. Don't run into more of this crap. Because they have a chance to just shoot out at you and get you. Okay. Flies did most of the work, and we'll just pop that for fun. And then let's see what our score is. 43rd place? Actually, I am, like, flabbergasted. I really am. <laughs> Top 50? Holy shit. It must be because, like, I had the Mama Mega. You know, got the boss rush. That was the big pointer, right? But then it's like, I think the... With getting max coins and near max bombs, a good amount of keys, and then like, especially the exploration bonus, that must have made a hell of a difference. 43rd place. See, I thought I was going to be like, not even close to that. Wow. Well, that was something. Anyways, thanks for watching, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.